mental health is on the rise and it actually started to, to get worse since the um the pandemic or pandemic as some people call it you know through covid-19 because for the first time a lot of people were able to just stop and think and be at home or you know like with themselves had to spend time going in and really thinking about what's going on with their life what's going on with the world and the mental health is a serious thing and when we speak and we tell you that you have a radio in your head people are going to be like what do you mean like you hear voices in your head multiple voices even when you're thinking you're hearing a voice right so the question is where do the voices come from we have we've already broken down to you that you have four generations of ancestors within you that speak through you and when we say four generations we're talking about there's you who's at the top then you have your mother and father that's layer 1 then you have which would be your parents then the second level is going to be your um mother and father's mother and father so that would be your grand parents then the level below that the third one is going to be your great grandparents and then obviously your great 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 grandparents so those are all those personalities with each one with their own levels of four they're all speaking through you because you're like the dna or genetic link to all of them so you hear their voices in your head some of the voices are going to be positive or what we like to say is agreeable and some of the voices are going to be negative or what we call disagreeable you always have the two opposite sides and you're in the middle and you have will power but will is vague meaning that until you decide to go either left or right or positive or negative or agreeable or disagreeable it's in the middle so you are in that seat and sometimes you allow your seat to be taken over so a good analogy is like when you're driving a car and the word car actually is not by coincidence because you the ka in ancient egypt is your spirit the ba or the ba is your soul so the different personalities or ancestors within you are fighting to take control of the car which is you so when you're making decisions and when you're thinking when you're going left or going right or doing positive or negative this is all influenced by these personalities which are 30 in all if you do the maths and if say one of your parents or grandparents or great great grandparents have passed cross over you have to subtract one so then you will have let's say one of them passed you'll have 29 personalities as opposed to the full 30 if two have passed you'll only have 28 personalities so the reason i'm saying this is when we start to address mental health you hear people say people are schizophrenic psychotic they're mad they're crazy because they say they hear voices in their heads and some of these voices might influence them to do disagreeable things and you also have outside of your 30 personalities you have disembodied beings that are roaming the planet beings that have not been able to cross over every night at 3 a.m. the gates open for beings that have passed to leave and unfortunately just like with any immigration control some beings come through and some um people like CERN what they're doing is they smashing atoms together with the project um using the hydrogen collider and they're opening portholes and gateways and and all types of beings are coming through now how does this relate to mental health well when people hear voices in their head and sometimes they do crazy things shoot someone kill someone do something and they will say the voice in my head told me to do this when they go to mental institutions they given medication how do they know what medication to to prescribe to say that will stop you hearing voices why is it that people go to the graveyard to visit their loved ones and speak to the tombstones if they claim when you pass on you go to either heaven or you go to hell so is either you're in hell or you're in heaven so why would you go to the graveyard and go and talk to the tombstone 
that in itself is admitting to you that there are beings, disembodied beings and bodies that are trapped within the Earth's atmosphere. So when we start talking about the different ethers, starting from, you know, like the demons, the beast, coming all the way up to, you know, like human, humankind, man, mammal, all the way up to like what we call a supreme being, which is the highest, these beings vibrate on different ether levels. So ether is like in everything. And if you're not in a conducive environment for you, you won't stay in there. So what we're saying is these voices and the mental health and the episodes and the things that people are having are partly due to these personalities and these beings. And then you have external beings as well as the things that are being done on the planet, frequencies that are being sent. Because think about it, a radio picks up radio waves and you can send a signal and you tune into that radio to that frequencies to pick up that information, just like the TV. Signals are sent and then your antenna picks it up, converts that into pictures. So you can convert sound into light and light into sound. Your iPads, your phones, these are, you look at the light, they have light because that light is converting the information into pictures for you. So the mental health pandemic has a lot to do with how you think, your mentality. So what do you think? The information you put into your, into your mind. And so when we say the religious world and um, the Bible, the Quran and all these religious books which are influenced by these extraterrestrials that can send messages to you, it's not crazy because these books have you thinking like snakes can talk. They have you thinking things like a well can swallow up a man, like in the story of Jonah, and he's in the belly of a well for, for days. This is ludicrous because in the, the, the well's stomach is acid. You couldn't survive or live in it. How big does this world have to be anyway, first of all? The, these scriptures, these religious books, they have you thinking that there's a place called hell where you're going to go and be tortured and burnt forever and ever. They have you thinking they're things like unicorns and, you know, all kinds of crazy things that people think. They have you thinking that if you make a mistake, you're doomed because now you're a sinner. And because you're a sinner, you're going to go to hell. This doesn't make sense from a caring, loving deity or God, right? So we, we keep mentioning these extraterrestrial beings that are passing themselves off as being good when they're actually not good at all. They're here to, to basically carry out their mission. They have a mission. Um, as, as I've mentioned previously in our book, we talk about these different extraterrestrials. We actually list the names of the extraterrestrials, give you the references where you can find them and what their agenda is. Not all of them are bad or disagreeable. You have those who have been living here before human life as we know it. They were living in the waters for millions of years, still do have advanced cities under water. You have those that live in the caverns. You have those that are in the skies and camouflage and hide with the, you know, the clouds and stuff. We have this girl called, um, are there UFOs in your midst? And um, so all of these beings are not here for for good. Some of them, they want to take over the planet and, and make it their own. Some of them want to coexist and live peacefully and happily. And you have those who want to destroy the planet. So it's a very wide array of things that, um, that are going on. Then you have people like Elon Musk that are, are launching, you know, rockets all the time, trying to go, go out of here, get out of here. Um, you know, Richard Branson, certain people now, they're really heavily into space travel. So yes, um, when, we, we, when we teach Wu Sabat, Wu Sabat is the answer to the mental health pandemic because it teaches you to know that there's a big difference between knowing and believing something. 
It teaches you that there are ghosts um, roaming around that are influencing you, that are possessing you. Some people have the ability to see these apparitions or they call it doppy, you know, in um, certain circles. Um, some people hear these voices. Some people actually see things. Um, pe some people can see auras. It's all about how developed you are spiritually. And of course, your physical relates to your spiritual and your spiritual ties into your other beings, your etheric being, your soul being, your mental being. So really, Wu Sabat is a holistic doctrine that covers everything. Like we cover the full circumference because in order to have a solution, you have to have a solution that works for everyone. So we were taught the three monotheistic religions, you know, Islam, Judaism, Christianity, and the many, many flavors. And in doing that, in studying and reading our books, you learn Latin, you learn the Greek, you learn the Hebrew, and of course you learn our language, Nuapik or Mispatia. It's all in the books. Now, a lot of people have become very lazy because of social media. They just watch videos and they just scroll, you know, 30 seconds, 90 seconds, one minute videos. You really do have to study and, and get the scrolls and read them. Because when you read and study, you have questions that come from your studies. And then we can address those questions. You know, some people just see this as entertainment. It's not just entertainment. It's, it's about changing people's lives. You know, and so when we read the comments and we're hearing the effect that it's having on people worldwide and the amount of people that are coming into the store and people that are hitting me up on a one-to-one -one and just saying how much, you know, what OSM Vision is doing has changed their lives, it makes it all worthwhile. And so we dedicate our lives to trying to give out the knowledge, you know, and freely. We're, we are going to be... Um, launching um, our online course. We've been working on it quite hard and like the academy is going to be fully ready by next week where you're going to have all our classes that you know we do every week for free and obviously there'll be a couple paid ones but you're going to get a lot of free information. In addition to that I'm going to be doing um, a class this Saturday yeah called Unplug from the Matrix with Wu Sabat. Now, for anyone who hasn't watched the movie The Matrix, um, obviously there's a trilogy, or I mean, there's so many of them now, but if you've never watched them, watch at least the first one, two, and three. Even the, the latest one I watched, it was really good. I loved the concept, the way that, even though, you know, Keanu Reeves has moved on in, in age or whatever, the way they actually turned it into a video game, I thought that was really smart. If you haven't seen The Matrix movies, um, watch them before you, you know, attend the class, which is on the 20th of April. And then the part two is going to be on the 27th of April. So it's termed Unplug from the Matrix with Wu Sabat. Because Wu Sabat has the ability to unplug you. And that means a lot of different things. So, you know, we want to we wanna help you, show you how you can start to live a life of purpose where you're focusing on your spiritual being, you're focusing on, you know, your mental health, you're focusing on doing the things that will bring you reward and, you know, help other people because it is about love and unity at the end of the day. You're never going to um, please everyone all the time. So there will, will always be those who say, oh, this is a load of crap or whatever, but that's down to them. Everyone has their choice, but what we know is that it is actually making such a massive difference. It's changed my life and this is why I'm so passionate about Wu Sabat and I will um, continue to teach Wu Sabat, uh, you know, as long as I'm still breathing. But yeah, so um, that's the workshop coming up. The academy is coming up. Our book is doing well. Um, we, we just keep running out, but you know, constantly uh, on demand. And that's how, another way you can help us you know, support us so that we can actually keep doing this and give you the knowledge weekly, regularly, so that you can ask all your questions and we will answer them. And then, you know, we can come back the next week and, you know, answer the, you know, more questions. So, yeah.